previous videos, we were looking at the bootstrap to do net installs from running systems. So today I'm going to show you another option using the live CD Gremlin. If you enjoy my tutorials and would like to see more, please think about contributing to my Patreon account at patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. Okay, so in the previous uh, two videos, we went over the bootstrap, which was what was voted on by my Patreon uh, supporters as the next topic of videos. And uh, I showed you how to do it for a regular install to a partition, to an image, uh, as a cross architecture for ARM from a desktop, for use on ARM devices such as uh, Android device or you know different cell phones or a pogo plug, whatever uh, ARM device you, you have root access to. Well today I'm going to show you uh, Gremel, I believe that's how it's pronounced. It's a live CD Debian based, great little distro. Uh, it has a small version and a full version, lots of options, lots of scripts built in to it that make stuff easy. Uh, if you like Debian and you're looking for a live CD that's like Debian but just awesomely cool, Gremel is a great option. I'm running it in a virtual machine here and um, when you normally boot Gremel it will uh, give you a options before you get to command prompt. I'm going straight to the command prompt here. Um, and uh, we're just gonna do, use some of their scripts to help uh, with the creation of uh, the bootstrap. And if you watch previous tutorials, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but there are a lot of options. And this gives you kind of a, a, a interface that will ask you some of the questions instead of having to type them out a command prompt, which you may prefer. First thing you need to do is I have a hard drive on here that is not partitioned at all. So let me use, uh, by default on Gremel, it's a live CD, we're logged in as root. Um, so I'm gonna go F disk device SDA. So I'm gonna say new. So N for new, primary one. Those are all the default options for here. And then we'll say W for write. There we go. So we create a partition. It's not formatted at all. I think that the script in Gremel here will partition it for us. If we're wrong, we'll come back out and partition it. We'll say uh, grml dash the bootstrap. And of course you can do a regular to bootstrap from here. Uh, Gremel doesn't, even though it's great live CD, it doesn't have an install option uh, for installing. It recommends using this to install Debian. Uh, and then of course you can always configure Debian to be like Gremel. Um, so the bootstrap, so Gremel to bootstrap, hit enter. And as you can see, it brings up a semi-GUI text interface. Um, and this will guide us through and ask us some options that we can do with the bootstrap by typing into the command, but again, it will uh, question us on them. So here, do you want to use this front end? Yes. What version of Debian do you want to install? We'll just go with Wheezy this time. Last previous tutorial, I think we'll use SID. Um, don't want to set up a RAID. Okay, yep, that is the uh, hard drive that I want, or the partition that I want. Okay, do I want to install a master, uh, a boot manager, the master boot record? Remember, when we used the bootstrap before, uh, we went in and I used the uh, uh, grub2 from my current running system. You can put that command into the bootstrap, um, but in the end, if you don't want a boot manager, you can choose no, but we'll, we'll create a boot manager. What do you want your host name to be? I'll just call it my, my deb, whatever. Okay, and again, before I told you how uh, at the end of the first video that I forgot to show you, when you're true rooted in, you're gonna to wanna to create a username and password, or at least a password for root user. If you forget to do that, you won't be able to log in. Here, it asks you, so you won't forget to do that. I'll just say root, and I will type it in a second time. Uh, and now it's gonna say, do you wanna download from uh, the net, from the internet? Do you want to download from the Debian servers? Or do you have a local mirror that you've made for faster installs or maybe it's custom? We'll just use the default there. Ask what server you want to use. We'll just use this Debian one here. And um, check, make sure this is all right because once you do this, it's going to uh, you know wipe out that partition if we continue. So we're gonna say yes here. And right away, it uh, now is formatting that partition and it will start pulling down uh, all the stuff just as the bootstrap did. You can see it automatically detect uh, that I'm running um, a 32-bit uh, processor. Uh, it does that based on the, the version of uh, Gremel I'm running. And from here on out, 
it's pretty much the same as the bootstrap. So that's just another option I wanted to share with you. Um, maybe if you've never done a bootstrap before, this is a great way to go. Um, and if you're going to need, to, if you don't already have a system running uh, and you're going to boot from a live CD anyway, Gremel is a great live CD to have. And, uh, you know, it's just little things like this. It's, it's basically Debian with little scripts like this that make things that you already know how to do just a little bit easier. You know, like I said, it, it, it prompts you to create a root password, which if you forget the other way, uh, then you might get locked out of your system and might need a live CD to set a password anyway. So that's pretty much the end of this tutorial. Kind of short, but I thought that I would share that with you. Uh, once again, the bootstrap is great. If you haven't watched the previous videos, be sure to check them out uh, on my YouTube page or at filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description to that and a search bar where you can search through my videos. And if you just type in the bootstrap, it will bring up any video on the bootstrap. And like I said, the previous video was on ARM installs. I've done a number of videos of different ways to do create ARM file systems. Uh, so if you type in ARM, most of those videos will come up. So nice little search feature on my website there. You can also search on my YouTube channel. If you want to support me and my videos, my work, uh, check out uh, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. Should also be a link to that in the description. Thank you for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.